Immersion Media, Next Generation Training and Instructional Media. The ulnar collateral ligament, or UCL, is an important ligament in the elbow for baseball pitchers, football quarterbacks, and javelin throwers. When the UCL tears, the athlete often complains of pain on the inside of the elbow and a loss of velocity and control. The surgery for this injury involves a replacement of the ligament with a tendon graft. The most common sources for tendon grafts include the palmaris longus tendon from the forearm and the gracilis tendon from the leg. This UCL reconstruction is commonly termed the Tommy John procedure, named after the pitcher who was the first successful recipient of this surgery. In this animation, we'll show the UCL surgery with a gracilis tendon graft in a left-handed baseball pitcher. To get started, let's check out the anatomy. The humerus is the upper arm bone, whose bottom helps delineate the elbow joint. The radius and ulna are the two forearm bones that form the border of the elbow joint from below. The yellow arrow is pointing to an attached UCL. When a motion is forceful enough or enough repetitive injury has occurred, this ligament can tear away from the ulna or humerus, often resulting in reconstruction surgery. In this case, we'll use the gracilis tendon, which is one of the hamstring tendons utilized for ACL surgery. This ligament is folded over to form a two-stranded graft that goes through a small metallic button that will serve as a flip anchor later in the surgery. Oftentimes, a surgeon will draw on the arm, noting where the incision will be made and to avoid the ulnar nerve, which is identified with a dashed line. In this simulation, we'll assume the UCL is torn away from the humerus. Next, the surgeon will make a hole in the ulna to accept the graft, using a pin first and then a reamer. The reamer is the same diameter as the graft and creates a hole for the graft. Now, the surgeon will pass a suture through the socket and out the other side of the arm. This allows the surgeon to pull the graft into the correct place. Now the sutures follow and come out the other side of the arm. We can then pass the tendon graft into the socket, which will happen after the metal button that you see there is flipped on the other side of the ulna. The surgeon then pulls on it to know that it's taut and secure. Then the surgeon will stitch the remaining graft strands so the graft can be passed into the humeral socket. This is how the graft will look when stitched. Now the surgeon will create a socket in the humerus, again using a guide pin and reamer as you see here. Now we have to make sure we have a way to anchor the grafts, so it's necessary to make two small drill holes. A tool called a suture passer is used to move the graft into the socket after it goes through the drill holes. This process is used for both holes. Now the surgeon will wedge the graft into the socket using a screw to create a tight fit. This is done with the elbow slightly flexed and in a neutral position. Finally, the surgeon will apply tension to the sutures and tie them together. The result is a ligament that is nice and taut. Over the last 30 years, this surgery has been performed numerous times and frequently with very good results. A high-level motivated athlete can often return to throwing within a year, but it can take longer to attain previous levels of velocity and control.